journalist H.L. Mencken calls Smith the greatest orator of them all. Not the greatest by an inch or a foot or a yard or a mile, but the greatest by at least two light years. Before working for long, Smith toured the country as a circuit preacher, hired to increase attendance in fundamentalist churches. He prowled the streets looking for sinners and on occasion was known to enter pool halls and jump onto tables to preach spontaneous sermons. After Long's death, Smith, with the help of Father Coughlin, formed a third party to run against Roosevelt. At their convention, Smith was a keynote speaker. These great, phenomenal assemblies, whether they be headed by Dr. Francis E. Townsend, Gerald Smith, our Father Charles E. Coughlin represent the unmistakable edict that is being issued to the corrupt, thieving politicians of America that the baby heaven stump grubbing, sod busting, go to meeting, God fearing American people are about to take over the United States government of America. Smith's delivery was hypnotic. Minkin, who was in the crowd that day, interviewed members of the audience. Although they applauded Smith to the point of exhaustion, after Smith sat down, few were able to remember what he had actually said. 